What's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, and the other host is... Cool, man. How y'all doing? Already. Hey, if this is your first time tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. This is a podcast we do every single week, and uh, we pretty much talk about all the world issues, all the family issues, all the things that ain't issues. We pretty much, we talk about anything we want to, but we do it as two grown men that got our heads mm-hmm. on straight and we ain't in all these toxic, immature uh insecure streets of the social media yeah hey well, that's where i get my topics from social media i mean I that's be, what it, that's why y'all here be in the social media streets <laughs> i said but we ain't in the insecure ones ah uh, we take a different street yeah yeah, yeah. i'll be uh, right i'll be on the highway you right can, by you completely just <laughs> <laughs> mis- <laughs> just misdirected that whole thing <laughs> I don't be on the highway right by. I be on don't that side street he on a, of the he, Instagram. He on a bypass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fam, we usually kick this off, say, off every week with getting something off our chest. These, phone, these are too close. I was looking in the wrong camera for a minute. Mm. Uh, we usually start this off with getting something off our chest. Goose, you got something you want to get off your chest? Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Okay, yeah. My my level's, yeah, my level's good. Uh, on the social media tip, there's this guy, there's this uh baby. She has to be two, two or three years old. And they're singing happy birthday to her. And he pulls out a champagne bottle and he pops it, right? I'm thinking he about to, yeah, happy birthday, baby. Yeah. He literally. Which would still be inappropriate. Yeah, it's still <laughs> inappropriate. But yes, this man pours the champagne all on his baby's head. Whether it's champagne or apple cider, whatever the sparkling okay, stuff is. If it's water. Is. Yeah, if it's water. That that's what my thing was. I wouldn't even pour water on my baby's head. Like right. what what are you doing? So he pops it and he just start dumping it on his daughter's head. Are, are you getting ready for the Buddha Club or something? That's what I'm saying. You ain't seen that done. You ain't seen nobody do that to anybody that they respect. N- exactly. <laughs> it's just like I'm gonna empty out this bottle on your head. On like. your head. <laughs> I, look, man. There's certain lines to be drawn. Stop crossing these lines. I feel the same way about that guy getting his hair done in that class. Uh, that was lame. The last episode, lines were crossed. You see, <laughs> lines were crossed. And <clears throat> to expound on that issue, certain comments were saying. Uh, if he was a part of the LGBTQ community, y'all wouldn't be concerned about it. Blase, blase. Y'all over hypersexualize certain situations. Give me one of mother mics. And I'm like, I, the, what? Yeah. How do you, how do you, okay, so what's inappropriate to me? Like, well, that's my question. So what's inappropriate? Him kissing them? It, he has to go that far for you to be like, oh, that's inappropriate? Or like, what? where's the line? Like you said, lines were, were, yeah. were crossed. Like, the, pe- people, this is the thing. This is what piss, be pissing me off too. That's cool. I got it from here. Uh, who's to say that we wouldn't be equally as pissed off? Like people say stupid shit like that and they trying to put their own reality on projecting their own reality on top of what somebody said, or they're skewing the situation, just basically miswording exactly everything that was said. We mm. said a teacher. Yeah, yeah. We didn't yeah. say a straight man. We said an adult or anybody that has a problem with this, they would have a problem with it. We don't care if it was same sex, if it was a woman. Yeah. Doing this with other little girls. Or if it was man, a man sitting there and having boys fade him up, straight, gay, purple, green, it don't matter. Mm-hmm. It's crossing the lines, period. And this be the problem in these social media streets. Yeah. Is you got people that just come out, fly off. A lot, this is, what, uh, this is a realization I've heard people talk about and that I can't, I think I just need to shorten this. And a realization that I came to is when you own in when you watching a video or you go down to the comments, you got to understand a majority of the population is stupid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and and you see it. You see when you go down through the comments, people have a relief that they want. They 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 got something they need to relieve that they can 
walk up in there in a cloak and nobody knows who they are and they can just say pretty much anything. Or some people just don't have a high level of intelligence. That's true. Because you take things, you take what somebody's saying and you don't comprehend it at all. Mm -mm. There's no comprehension. And then you spew out, well, uh, what about this? Y'all wouldn't have a problem. That has nothing to do with what we said. Or with anybody, or at least that I've saw said, they have a problem with an educator yeah. letting these little girls, crossing the line and letting them touch him inappropriately, meaning his hair or whatever it may be. Yes, it does seem fishy. If this was a gay man, I'd be like, he's taking advantage of these little girls. Yep. Go get your damn hair done after school. Mm -hmm. Why are you trying to be friends with these little girls? Are you trying to be friends with their male friends? It it's gonna go there every time. If it was a if it was a woman, why you met let why you letting these boys touch on her? Or why you letting these girls touch on her? That's crossing the boundary. Yeah. What did I say? Man or woman, you catching these hands. Yeah. <laughs> you damn yeah, you did. You said man or woman. You I got four hands. boys. Yeah. I'd be damned if one of the if I found out some teacher, regardless of his sex religion would he identify or she identifies as let them touch his hair or uh, yeah y'all can do it what first of all i'm gonna have a talk with my sons because they already know mm -hmm. at the age of uh nine the nine-year-olds know my 14 year old definitely know no amar he gonna he might come home and say i'm like hold on what and then i'm gonna have to go talk to the teacher because he just four I'm like now explain to me what he's telling me yeah but they already know this and during the class during school like it's not after school, you crossing all the lines. They supposed to be in class learning. Right. And now they fingering through your hair and stuff. Yeah. I remember in high school, dang, that wasn't even the I I thought it it was the it was just one of the um it was the students track practice. They were outside and the uh -huh. girl was braiding a, another student's hair. But I'm thinking, what if a teacher was out there getting their hair braided? during track practice um, right that we would still look at that crazy even though it's after school um you still crossing the line and you still was that a, would they say it on on our video or was it a video that you saw no that was in our comment oh, was, oh good good good, oh, good. i yeah. hope they come back yeah that was i hope they comment. come back and i hope they hear this go um, ahead goose you shouldn't it all of that should be done in a professional um atmosphere yeah i'm cutting your hair i'm braiding your hair i'm doing anything for you for service unless you're just one of my peers then we're on the same level but you have to draw the line yeah. no sir no ma'am this is not happening here right we can do it in front of other that's what I'm, that's another thing i guarantee you no other teachers were in that room Right, and if any other adult would have came in that room, he by. wouldn't have. He wouldn't have dared did that shit. Yeah. It, this is, and I will just repeat something. Being that, like I said, people don't comprehend very well, and I just will repeat what I said last week. There's a problem with any adult making any child feel comfortable with a, a child adult relationship that's not a, already a friend of the family or is not equally or more close to the parents. You are setting children up for failure. I said this last week, I'll repeat it again since we got people saying stupid shit. This is the problem. It has nothing to do with the, the, the sex or identity or anything of the teacher doing it. It's the fact that it's an adult making these children feel comfortable making a friendship with an adult. And he, in turn, is calling them his besties. That's the problem. Yeah. Try to comprehend that from people that have children. Yeah. I brought that up because one of the topics. Oh, you got anything on your chest? Uh, now that's on my chest. Uh, I ain't got nothing on. Man, you know what? I just been in a, a mental space of mm. trying to bless my, trying to be blessed and bless those around me. Wow, just a very positive headspace. That's where I'm. That's why. I, granted, y'all don't always see it, but trust me, that's where I'm at in my head. <laughs> I've been going on walks and I've been getting into that space while I've been mm -hmm. walking. I'm like, come on, man, you can get, you got this. Yeah. See, I ain't been doing the walk because I've been, I'm on a, uh, I'm on a calorie burn phase, so I, I'm on a treadmill. I'm walking on that incline oh. for an extended amount of time, being that I can't uh, do my bike like I used to. Oh damn. Okay. Oh, what's going on? 
Um, as a cash aider, I, I believe he would uh, have still done it. If another teacher was in the room, my issue was the filming of doing it. Ah, so that's what Ebony's saying. She thinks he still he would be doing it if another teacher walked by. Um, why does this generation feel of the need to film everything? Oh yeah. Well, that's hmm, man. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not an educator, but in my in the in the high school I went to and the, uh, junior high high I went to things, and that was that's that's what the problem is. Things weren't filmed, mm -hmm. right? So no one ever knew this stuff was going on. So we didn't know our teachers. Or you didn't know your teachers were having sex with students because none of this stuff was filmed. You didn't know in the band room after school, the band directors, the drum majors, all these folk getting down and dirty because ain't nobody ever tell you or you had no clue because there was no filming. Now we have filming and now it's, you're like, what in the heck? This is, this is a shocker to people. Yeah. I, I never saw... And a lot of stuff went down in my high school. I've never saw a teacher getting his hair braided by one of the students just out in the open, period. And there was, what's this, 2000, when did I get to high school? 99, freshman. We ain't had no cell phones. Wasn't nobody filming nothing. Yeah. That stuff wasn't, you weren't was, doing that. Nah, it was, it, it was definitely stuff happening. Like, I remember there was definitely the, you know, the, our teacher, she was real goth, like gothic mm. in the gothic. So she was real tight with all the gothic kids. And I know she was smashing a couple of them dudes. Like that yeah. was a known thing. Like one of them was like, no, they they go together. And we all thought it was weird. Another teacher, she was definitely smashing one of the football players. Like, yep. it was, like we all knew it. It was just mm -hmm. like, but even then we was like, that shit dead wrong. She gonna go prison. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Both of these are women. These ain't even men, these are women. We was like, they gonna go prison. They never did, but <laughs> but this stuff was definitely happening because teachers. I mean, people be foul regardless they of their position in life and career. People still be foul. They didn't go to jail and they weren't prosecuted because it wasn't filmed. We didn't have social media. The kids didn't have somebody to tell or to right. brag to. Yeah, now That's the thing. we didn't see it. Yeah, but we everybody oh. knew like. Yeah. So is that like? <laughs> oh yeah. It was talked about enough to where it was like, no, that was definitely happening. But one, yeah, we didn't see it. One I of can't my partners. Confirm it. One of my partners got kids with one of our teachers. Are you serious? Oh yeah. <laughs> Out of high school, his baby was being born, and you like, mm, mm, okay. Wow. But if we had social media, and oh, it would have been a to to the uh, person's point here. Everybody feels like they have hey, to film he, stuff. My boy, he got a baby with a, with a, yeah. with a teacher. Is it, and he, they, now he's on the shade room. He's smashing the English <laughs> teacher. Yeah. It, it would have been known. All the craziness in the world would have been known. We would have nipped so much in the bud. Ty said, my brother smashed multiple teachers. See? God dang. Yeah. Man, there was one teacher. It was, yes. If I would have pursued her. It would have easily went down, yeah. easily. But you know, uh, I might not have done it because we I didn't have nothing to brag on social media, you know, whatever, whatever. But if we had social media or filming back then, a lot of this stuff would have we would have knocked this, nipped this in the butt ten, twenty years ago. Yeah. So I'm and I'm then, glad social media is around because now yeah. you get to see and prove to folk. Oh no, there was a third one. I forgot about the third one. Third what? I ain't gonna say. No, there oh, was a male teacher, teacher smashing oh, male one teacher. of the girls. Oh yeah. And she openly pursued that. We was like, pump your brakes. Man, our high school, I, the the hallway would be so thick, full of kids. There was this white teacher smashing this black girl, and you'll be walking through the hall and just see them. Like on the lockers together, she just next to hugged him, up. not hugged, hugged up, but but it's kicking it together, kicking it together. Wow, I'm telling you, the but see, doing in Decatur, woo, <laughs> man, man, we had it, man, it was that that was crazy. That's but sad, if man. social media was around, yeah, this stuff would have been seen, and people would not be so. Uh, I don't even, I wouldn't even say naive. Cause oh. you see what's happening and you understand what's happening. You just, just blind to the fact that uh, this man is 
literally um, is morally to me morally wrong, right? So um, you said had two girls fighting over the softball coach. Man, they need to. Yeah, man. Strict. I know. I remember seeing a whole bunch of wild stuff, but as a grown man now looking back on it, it's like mm-hmm. <laughs> shit is insane. Yep. Them boys, they were getting getting it, and and it's all be it's all because certain parents, guardians were like, oh, they're just friends. Oh, nah. the oh, all the band teachers picking up my daughter every morning to go to band practice. Nah. Oh, that's all they're doing. Man, get the man. Listen, from experience, I'm telling y'all. Your kids, when they get up, I used to get up every 7, 6.30. We, I had to go to school and go run uh, for wrestling practice early in the morning. Yeah. Y'all think I was the only person up that, that early in that school? <laughs> Goose done seen it all. <laughs> huh? In those Goose equipment. The English wing. They, in, they hey, smashing again. <laughs> in those equipment rooms, in those uh, <laughs> locker rooms. Your daughters be up there. Your sons be up there with adults. Yeah. And you just thinking, oh, that's just, uh, 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 Jason ain't got a ride to school, so his coach come pick him up every morning. Man, don't nobody be doing that just to be doing it, man. Yeah, that was one lady. She was mad cool. She would be, there was one dude that was definitely smashing, but she would let us use her truck and stuff and run around. The, but he had already put the work in. So yeah, was oh, like, yeah. We, we were just, one of the beneficiaries mm-hmm. like, hey, uh, Miss, 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 her name wasn't Miss Smith, but hey, Miss Smith, can I use your truck to go? Yeah, y'all do. I don't take my keys. We would all during school drive her truck. You think I ever let my parents know? <laughs> I'm saying, but if social media but was I around, would, look, it was like they was like, you, no, no, that ain't me. That's him. But I'm gonna use his truck though. <laughs> I was going picking up my girlfriend. And See, her look truck. at you. <laughs> During school, it's just like, okay, can you come pick me up? I'm going to show up. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to grab Miss Smith's truck. I'll come over and get you. <laughs> this man grabbing Miss Smith's truck, a teacher <laughs> truck to go pick up. His, hey. Come on. You can't. <laughs> man. It was wild, man. And y'all up here talking about, oh, it's fine. Y'all nah, over sexual, sexualizing stuff. Blase this, blase that. I'm going to say one more thing. I'm going to get off of this. I had a teacher. Now, (laughs) y'all, in high school. This is old as hell. In high school, I I had, in high school, I had a, uh, I had a teacher. I ain't going to say what subject, but uh, I had a beard. I had a chin strap beard in high school. So you had one in elementary school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Been having this for a long time. (laughs) It wasn't like this. It was flat, chin strap, close to my face. My teacher, right, I I go turn in my work, talk to my teacher, and this is during lunch. Like, during this class, it was, it was lunch period. So, you had A, B, C, and D, I believe. Yeah. Go give him my work. Literally, as I'm handing him my paper, he reaches up and he grabs, he kind of like, just like caresses my chin. Are you serious? Yes. What you do, good? I I was like, whoa, whoa, right? He said something in a different language, right? And I'm like, what does that mean? This man looked at me in my eyes and said, <laughs> I ain't falling for it. <laughs> no. Oh. He, this is, oh, you think, no, nah, it ain't one of those. <laughs> he said, it, oh, it's like, Dang, I don't even know if I can say this word on this. I don't even feel I, comfortable I saying it. Okay. He grabbed, he caressed my chin and said, oh, it feels like here. This is ninth grade. What? This is ninth grade. Y'all, I took that class ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Never went to class and I passed with A pluses <laughs> for the rest of my high school career. <laughs> I went Never to went A, back. B, C, and D lunch all the goddamn time. I, I come in and I salute him. Go. Because he buy, knew he messed buy up. Buy my cookies and my fruitopia and uh, my fries and I be in the damn. He just gave you a oh, pass. like Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That happened. Wow. 
Yes. Yeah. And, and guess what? I could have been like, oh, give me your number so we can text about my p- hair chin and shit. Come on, man. Wow. Y'all better wake the hell up. Yeah. That happened to me. They I was I was violated. You was. Yeah, yeah, I was. But I already knew. I was like, play black. I'm gonna take advantage. Oh yeah. <laughs> I ain't got learned. me one at yeah. least. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to hey, I use wow. that, that period. Could I, you imagine what your dad would have done had he found school out? So much during that. Oh man. That was my racking up season. That that period, I was oh, I guess I'm off for a good two to three hours. Man, I was in middle school, right? Mm. It wasn't nothing like that. I thought it was about to be. This is a woman teacher. Anyway, I didn't have her. I wasn't in her class. Mm. And uh, I came in with something she taught. But anyway, I was coming down the stairs from like second floor, first floor, wrapped around the corner. And like we met at the corner. So I was like, oh, excuse me. And she stopped me, mm. like blocked the door in front of me. And she leaned against the door. She was like, do you want to get by? I was like, yeah. She was like, well, you're going to have to do something for me. And at the time, I'm thinking, because she was this, at the time, <laughs> she was older, but not, she was probably, when I say older in middle school, when I think back, she was probably like mid to late 30s. And then the tank was probably 6'5". <laughs> <laughs> no, she, this is the thing, she was old, she looked older, but she was always fine. Like, oh. like she had difficult eyes. Oh, she was man. fine. And I was, and I was thinking, what's she about to say to me? <laughs> she mm. said, you're going to have to do something for me. Uh. I was like. What? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I'm gonna need you to help keep your group a little more oh, quiet okay. during the assemblies. I was like, first I was like, who? Then I was like, dang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got that little tingle down. They're like, oh, oh. She it's said, not- I'm gonna need you to help me keep your little your uh, group of friends quiet. And anytime we do, it was something that she was. I was like, okay, yes, man. <laughs> mm. Oh, y'all to 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 put some more sweetness and. Uh, what you call fondue and uh, whatever on the cake, whatever what you call it, icing on the cake. Icing on. <laughs> I'll try to get it. I couldn't remember the name. I said fondue and <laughs> the icing on the cake <laughs> was more cran brulee, <laughs> more sprinkles, more more ingredients. I was like, "Dang, what you supposed to say? It's icing on the cake." Uh, to put more icing on the cake about the story I told, I told this to another individual. And yeah. this individual, a student or another teacher? Uh, no, no. I told this to an a, a, um, another student, but uh-huh. to somebody. How old is she? I'm forty. I think this person is twenty eight. Now, now, okay. But she went to the same school in the same school district as I, oh, okay. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I told them that. And before I told the girl the name of the teacher, she said the name Who of the was. teacher. And she was like, oh, he's at such and such school, and he did that. He did something similar to a friend of mine. Why ain't y'all did something to this man? Did something about him, Goose? Man, I, hey, it's it's fine, right? They can be friends with. with man, shut up. That's, <laughs> that's what it, you can Don't be friends. Bullshit you go, I'm like, no, we you can do something about You can be school. friends. They can be friends. Hey, man. Hey, I'm out of there. I made it out. Man, no, I survived. You're going to let me know. Surviving the Cab I'm gonna, County. I'm going to call the district. What's the district? <laughs> Oh, it's DeKalb County. I give you his name. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him. Do it we gonna look him up. I'm gonna call do him. Do It ain't gonna matter, man. It is gonna matter. Nah, they gonna say, uh, you got to let people live and be who they are and be able to express themselves in whatever way, shape, form, or fashion I'm they so want to do that. Disappointed in you right now, Greg. Yeah, but I didn't know that. I didn't know the dude was doing that there. I thought I was just You are never the only one. I thought I was just I just had that sex appeal. No, you ain't and, that special. And ain't no tell how many kids he's doing this too. That's true. Now you making me feel bad. You that's, should that's feel true. bad. You over here like, yeah, they said that, man. We need to do something about this that's food. That's true, man. We need to. We uh I filed some paperwork. Man, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I filed some paperwork. What does that mean? I, I'm gonna call I'm gonna in some paperwork. <laughs> what the hell? I'm, I'm gonna call in, man. <laughs> That's the most generic. I'm going to uh, start saying I'm that. Gonna file you're going to be like, did you call suit. the bank to make sure they did that? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to file some paperwork. That's what I'm going to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to take this food down, y'all. I don't like that shit. Hey. Yeah. That is wild. That is wild. You got 10 o'clock? Yep. Uh, oh, snap. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on, man. We ain't need. We talk. gonna be real quick today, y'all. Uh, yeah. So I must just skip. I didn't expect that to go on as long as it did. Yeah, it did go on a long time. Uh, I mentioned that because uh, uh, a Red Sox pitcher, former Red Sox pitcher Austin Maddox, was arrested and ambushed by police because he was he met a girl online that was 14. He went to her house to meet up with her, and they arrested her. Blase, blase. Uh, I'm saying that because him. one of his excuses, I don't know if this was his excuse, but uh-huh. he could have easily said to everybody's point, we're just friends. She's my bestie. All right? I just I needed to say that. All right, cool. Anyway, moving on. I wouldn't be one of those arresting. I would, they need a Oh, unit. they tackled them. They, they filmed need it. a unit just for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, moving on to the main story is this airman, uh, Navy airman, was killed by. Hold on, just uh, just I, um, how punctual do you have to be to this meeting? I can come in, so I'm I'm thinking ten, ten, ten more minutes. Okay, all yeah. right. I just wanted you to be in consideration because my my older brother, he, they they own it. Okay, uh, he's on it. Sorry, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Airman in Florida. Uh, he was 23 years old. Uh, his name is dang. I got all this down. Hold on. I can't remember his name. Y'all, I think most people heard about it um, by now. I think because this was a week and a half, two weeks ago. It was a week. And y'all probably got his two name. Two weeks ago. Fortson. 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 <clears throat> Hold on. We gonna. I want to do this one right. Uh, I know Greg can't have an episode without talking about somebody getting killed. Did, I ain't even gonna comment on that man being serious. Roger the bearded reaper. Roger Fortson. Roger Fortson. Uh, U.S. Airman. They called. Patriot. Yes. They called black man. They called, uh, he lives in an apartment complex. The mm-hmm. apartment complex called saying there was a, some noise. There were some people fighting in their apartment. Police deputy came, knocked on the Air Force uh, men's door. The um, Roger opened the door with his, with his left hand. So he opened the door like this. He had his, his gun, yeah. legal issued gun, licensed gun in his right hand. The officers right in front of the door. Literally, as he's opening the door, as soon as the officer saw the gun in his hand, he shoots and kills this guy. Point, period, blank. Didn't say police put the gun down, anything. He just, whop, and killed the dude. Um, I'm always talking about being compliant. Man, don't give the police no issue, blah, 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 blah. You know, this goes to why People don't like me saying that because the police officer had no. How do you even approach a situation like this with your gun out, gun gun drawn? This guy was ready and already had in his mind he was shooting somebody. And that's the issue that I be having with that. On top of that. The PGA Tour Tours number one golfer. Mm hmm. Scotty. Drove through Scotty Sheffler, she- Sheffler, 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 like white man drove through a police roadblock, injuring a police officer with his vehicle. So now aggravated you done ass- assault, aggravated assault, and y'all know all these police officers be shooting, oh, shooting bullets through windows, jumping on top of hoods mm-hmm. of cars because oh Mancular. he's he's about to kill us, and they go crazy in danger for my life. Yeah. And they go shooting through the vehicle. But with this golfer, he eventually stops. They arrest him and then let him go play in the PGA Tour. Yeah. What? You can't you can't deny the discrepancy on, on this one. Yeah, he was it was so uh that that's really what I need to get off my chest. That's some bullshit. <clears throat> and then they haven't even named the officer and the officers on obviously on administrative leave, getting paid, 
not doing nothing, using our tax dollars just to be sitting up on his ass just for the police chief. Guarantee you he did what he had to do. Uh, he, his life was threatened type. I guarantee you that's going to come out. So Yeah. It's, it, it Like I said, this is back when, like, when we had that other discussion, it was like we black people, we sick and tired of the bullshit. Like the police was called to uh, what's the young man's name? Uh, Roger well, Roger Fortson's uh, apartment complex, not to his apartment. Mm-mm. They just called and said they heard a loud noise. This man hears loud banging at his door. He can legally carry a firearm. If some you loudly bang at my door. I'm probably going to show up armed. Like, mm-hmm. wh- wh- who is banging? There ain't nobody announced their name, announced nothing, opens up the door. If the police want to draw, sir, I'm going to need your lawyer. You're like, okay. All right, I can put it down. What, mm-hmm. what the hell y'all want, though? Yep. No, nah, they just open fire. See a black man with a gun and open fire. Uh, it, and it, Yeah, it's, it's infuriating. And then you got this, the, uh, the white dude drove through, injured, he would have been dead within seconds mm. had he had been a black man. Talking about it was a misunderstanding. I watched this president. It was a misunderstanding. I thought they was telling me to go over nah. the cop. Nah. Don't have That doesn't happen. He sat in jail, and within hours, he was already on the golf course. Yeah. And, you know, oh, it pissed me off. You should have heard him on ESPN and the announcers and the commentary. You know, this is incredible what he's able to do. You know, he's, he's he was sitting in there, and then, you know, a – uh, uh, they kept saying a uh, uh, unfortunate circumstance, but luckily he's back out. And did, oh, you know he. Oh my God, he. How was he able to focus? Oh, it's just such a great thing. Pissed me off to no end. Yeah, like he not overcame something. Yeah, pisses me off. It yep. is. Uh, yeah, like we sick and tired of that shit like this. The more reason I don't like talking about the stuff I heard because it truly pisses me off. Mm-hmm. Uh, it really does. Like this. <laughs> And I, when I hear like opposing arguments to stuff like this, I'm like, anybody that has an opposing argument to the issue that black people have with the police is like, lets me know you're not either either not listening, you're not capable of listening, or you don't care. Yeah. Like those are the only three, the only three options you got. I've had this conversation with many, many people that didn't understand. After the conversation, he's like, if they got it, they were just ignorant and didn't know. If they didn't get it, then they don't want to get it. Yeah. You said simple as that. They don't want to get it. I told uh this dude I used to work with, I said, oh, this this is what he this is he he kind of pissed me off because he was saying something about you all. I don't know if I talk about it out here. Well, you all got your president. Oh no, I talking never about heard. He was like, you know, I don't understand the problem. Like you all got, you know, you already got your president. I don't understand the problem. I said, that's the problem right there. Yeah. I said the fact that you think that, oh, now everybody's on an equal playing field just because there's been a black president. Mm. I said, the problem is people like you because you see issues, you hear different conversations than what I hear and you choose not to speak up. I said, most likely from this conversation, it sounds like you're the cause of some of those conversations. Yeah. And then he, uh, then to lighten it up a little bit because he started in the conversation. I feel like I said this on here before. Started in a conversation talking about Dave Chappelle, uh, nah, his special we, seven, uh, what was it? Dave Chappelle's 713. The special that he talked about when George Floyd got killed, mm-hmm. and everybody thought it was going to be this big long stand up, and it was it wasn't. It was yeah. like basically he was addressing the situation of mm-hmm. that. So I said, "Have you seen Dave Chappelle's?" But he's like, "Oh yeah, I've been meaning to watch it." I'm like, "No, you should watch it. It's a it's a good one." I yeah. said, "It's one of his best <clears throat> ones." So he texted me that night. He said, "Hey, what's that Chappelle spe- uh, Chappelle special called?" I told him, "His man didn't talk to me ever again." I was with that. I was on that project for about seven more months. He ain't speak a word to me. Yeah, he ain't. <laughs> because also, if you would have smacked his ass, then what? Talking about that? How, what? You got your president? Make oh, it yeah. the hell out so, of my face. Yeah, that's, and that's the thing. It's like you you talk to these people, and you see where they at mentally. And it's just like a lot of times it don't even piss me off. A lot of times I just feel sorry for him. I'm like. Either you have that much hate or you have that much ignorance mm. that you don't see a problem with with, with what you're saying. Like, <laughs> I don't know what us having a black president got to do with. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is when we was talking about the whole George Floyd thing. He was like, uh, he said something about, oh, well, you know, he he was a, you know, he's got a record and and he, he was he was on drugs and he, he was a criminal. I said, did the cop know that when he killed him? Mm. No. 
He didn't. Mm. And regardless if he's a criminal or if he's on drugs, is, is he doing anything to endanger the cop's life for him to kneel on his neck like that? Yeah. I said, that's the problem. I said, do do I have a criminal record? Mm-hmm. No, Marcus, I wouldn't think you have a criminal record. I said, I bet if you if I were to put a badge and a gun on your hip, you if you thought I had a criminal record, does that give you the right to kill me? Mm-hmm. I said, all these, all these school shootings going on and everything. If somebody goes to shoot up my kid's school, I was like, guess what I'm gonna do? I'll I'll probably get arrested because I might show up armed. Yeah. That day during the shooting. Like, who's doing it? Mm-hmm. If I see you, if I were to put a in your head. Mm-hmm. Am I justified because all the school shootings are happen to be white men? Yep. You fit the description. He oh, oh, oh. come on, let's let's keep this conversation yeah, yeah, going. Yeah. You fit the description of every single person that's ever shot up a school sh- a school. Yep. Tall, six one white man, yep. blonde hair. You fit the description. Fit the description of everybody that be stealing these kids too. Yeah. I said, you fit the description of a lot of criminals. Yeah. But guess what? You also fit the, I told him, you also fit the description of the criminal ass cops looking for the criminals. Yeah. They be oh, dirty. Yeah, he, was stumped. he was stumped. They be dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Uh, they be dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Matter of fact, if y'all ain't been, I keep telling y'all, look at this Karen Reed case about these it seems it's alleged it seems like a host of dirty cops of are coming together to frame this one woman just to piggyback on mm-hmm. you and these cops being dirty this looking to <laughs> telling you and all this these, is it's it's crazy all these movies about boston and cops i'm like i believe yeah <laughs> it's like it's always in boston it's always like, in boston <laughs> and they got they have generations of children. Uh, uh, parents and kids are like lying on on the and they, stand. They call them lying on the stand. Yes, and they're like under the threat of perjury. Uh-huh. This is this is your statement. You, this is what you're going to testify yeah. to. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, uh-huh. that's it. I he didn't do it. I saw this. I saw that. And they're like, okay. Is that that's your testimony? Well, here's your first testimony last year, and you said the exact opposite. Which one is it? Well, if I said it there, I guess I said it there. But sir, you just yeah, ah, oh, <laughs> craziness. Um, hey man, I got some old stuff I want to talk about. Anyway, you got anything? No, nah, let's go and wrap it up, man. You got your okay, meeting to get yeah, to, I got, and uh, I got a little meeting. I'm happy because this is gonna be a short ass episode to edit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After last, not last week, week before last, where I had to do it twice, y'all talked about. I know a lot of people said it was a silent. My sound, the sound disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. So I literally had to edit the entire episode. Oh, go ahead, Goose. Yeah. I'm going to holler at y'all. You can catch me on IG, G O L Z B Y. You did. Y'all have a good one. Go ahead. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in, fam. Uh, Goose said he got an urgent meeting. He's already kind of late. Um, we are doing fixing shit. I'll probably do another just talk with y'all about some things because, um, yeah, I ain't got nothing that I'm working on right now. Uh, I can't think. And I I, I got to drive home, and I might think of something. But I'm trying to think of what I what projects I have going on. But anyway, we'll talk. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, y'all can find me on Instagram. Oh, if you're listening. Which one do I do first? Y'all can find me on Instagram at Marks on the Gram. Facebook at Marks on the Book. TikTok at Tank Don't Talk. Y'all can find my building and body builder called Man Shit. You can go to manshyt.com and check that out. And if you're listening, you can watch this on Tanks of TV. Uh, let us tell a podcast. And if you're watching, you can listen to this across all podcast streaming platforms. And you can also join our Patreon. That's who I've been talking to over here on this a camera that's who i'm about to talk to once i get to the house we do a little thing called fixing shit where i fix stuff i show them how to fix stuff and i show them stuff that i can't fix and we talk about that and giggle and all that jazz anyway you can go to patreon.com slash that chick angel sign up for the low low of five dollars a month uh till next time fam we will holler back at y'all y'all have a good one